Come on, there's a cross standing in the way. Don't neglect this time. When my flesh is weak and I'm discouraged about life, I've convinced myself giving up would be all right. Satan whispers, he'll make me slip forever someday. Oh, but it's not that easy when there's a cross standing in my way. Yes, there's the cross stands between me and Dying sin is a choice left up to me. Hallelujah. Yes, there's a cross stands between me and forever. If I go down, I'll have to pass right by that tree. Sinner, hear the words I'm saying to you now. If sin's flames become your home, I don't see how. Cause you'll go there through loved ones' prayers they've prayed each day. Oh, not to mention there's a cross in your way. Thank you for your cross, Lord. Yes, there's a cross stands between. Sin is a choice left up to me. Yes, there's a cross stands between me and forever. If I go down, I'll have to pass right by that tree. pass right by that tree don't bypass that tree you can let that play again I'm going to just go around and lay hands on people and pray with them Lord I thank you there may be somebody you come in this altar this morning to pray for them that ain't here that you want to see here that you want to see born again hallelujah come on pray for them this morning and if nothing else, saints, this is a time to refocus on things eternal. Hallelujah. Ain't none of us promised our next breath, much less. Amen. Another day. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just speak your blood and we agree right now. With all the saints, Father God, as they call on the name of Jesus and they pray for whatever reason they're praying for. God, we pray for those that are watching online, Father God, that's in that moment right now and they contemplating whether they should or they should not hear the Holy Ghost you should call on the name of Jesus Lord I agree God we believe for the families of ours the loved ones that are still lost in sin we pray God you rescue them in Jesus name bring them to the foot of the cross Lord we agree in the name of Jesus hallelujah we believe you in the name of Jesus you said if we believe on the name of Jesus we'd be saved us in our house our families act 1631 God save everybody the ones I lay hands on God today that's been born again Jesus we agree that their houses their homes their their families come to Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah yes Lord we believe yes there's a cross stands between
between me and forever. Hallelujah. If I go down, I'll have to pass right by that tree. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, if I go down, but I don't have to. Backsliver, hear the words I'm saying to you now. If sin's flames become your home, I don't see how. Cause you'll go there through loved ones' prayers they've prayed each day. Dimension, there's a cross standing in your way. Yes, there's a cross stands between me and forever to die in sin, Lord, is a choice left unto me. between me and forever If I go down I'll have to pass right by that tree If I go down I'll have to pass right by that tree His bloody tree. Hallelujah. If you're under the sound of our voice and you're in this room with us today, you would say, Preacher, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure I've been forgiven of. But I want to know that I know that I know before I leave this altar in the house of God today that my sins are forgiven. And I've genuinely believed on Jesus from my heart. Because I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. Hallelujah. While every head's bowed, please bow your heads just briefly. If that's you today and you say, Preacher, I'm not 100% sure, but I want to make sure. Raise your hand when I count to three. One, two, three. God sees your hands. God sees those hands. Hallelujah. Now look, I want to teach you something. Every eye can look back up here for a moment. The Bible said believe. Somebody say believe on the Lord Jesus. You'll be saved. You and your house. Acts 16, 31. Now that don't mean when you get saved automatically salvation everybody else is saved in your house. No, they personally have to come to Christ too. But it starts with you. God makes promise that when you believe on him and he saves you, he will. Save your loved ones. Somebody say, that's a promise. Amen. But do you believe? Because he said it's about believing. Do you believe Jesus was born of a virgin? If you do, say amen. amen. Do you believe Jesus lived without sin? Did no sin? Amen. The only perfect one ever walked this earth. you believe? Amen. amen. Do you believe that he was crucified for our sins, taking our sins in his body on the tree? If you believe, say amen. If you believe that you can't do enough of good to be forgiven, say amen. amen. If you believe that only he can forgive you by what he did, say amen. amen. All right? That's just proof you can't save yourself. You believe you can't. Amen. Only he can. Now here it is. Romans 10 9 said, if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Do you believe? Now this is, this is where it really gets critical. Do you believe that three days after he was crucified on the cross and they buried him, that on that first Sunday morning, that resurrection morning, it's recorded in Luke 24. When the women got there that morning, they didn't find him. But he showed up a little later and spoke to them. <laughs> he walked with them 40 days. <laughs> Alive and well. He even told old Downton Thomas, here, look at the nail prints in my hand. Touch my side where they poked me with the sword and opened my side on the cross. 
Do you believe that God raised him from the dead? Somebody say, if you do, you'll be saved. Do you believe? If you believe, say amen. amen. So if you believe Jesus was born of a virgin, that he, was, that he was crucified for our sins, did no sin, took our sins in his body, and that three days later God raised him from the dead. Friend, when you call on him, asking him to forgive you of your sins, and the Bible's clear, it's talking about when we repent, that means when we turn away from those sins and call on him and believe him to save us. Somebody say, he does it. Yes. You don't have to come back and make sure you make three more services, four more services. Make sure you pray ten more minutes each time you come to those services. That you join the church and get all these things that know somebody say, right then and there. He washes your sins away, and you are forgiven. You become his. Somebody say, what a deal is that? Because it ain't something you do to get it. It's what he did for you to receive it. Somebody say, a gift you receive. You can't buy it. You can't do enough of the good to get it. Somebody say he done paid for it. But you got to believe. And you got to call on him. Somebody say whoever calls on the name of the Lord. They'll be saved. Romans 10, 13. So several hands went up. But I don't want you leaving here today. And some of you that raised your hand, you've already been forgiven. You've already asked him to save you. Others may not be. And I'm not going to limit God. But everybody pray with me. Say, Jesus, I believe you were born of a virgin. I believe you did no sin. But you took my sin in your body on the cross and you died so I could be forgiven of my sins. And I believe that three days later, you physically, bodily raised yourself from the dead and you're alive even now, seated at the right hand of the Father. And I ask you, confessing that I believe to forgive me of all my sins and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, I confess you as my Lord and I believe and I also accept I am forgiven now. Right now, I am yours forever in Jesus' name. Oh, somebody shout, give him praise, give him glory. Somebody say, our sins and iniquities, he remembers no more. Hebrews 10, 17. Now, that don't mean God's got a memory lapse, something's wrong with his memory. He's got Alzheimer's or something, he's having a hard time. No, he remembers everything, he just don't remember it against us. God remembers everything we've done wrong, but he don't hold it against us no more. Somebody say, all because of Jesus when I believe on him. Man, what a deal is that? Somebody say, it's out of this world. It's eternal. Praise God. I ain't got to be afraid to die no more. Hallelujah. I've been washed in his blood. Lord, and I thank you today by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit that seals. Oh, the seal of the Holy Ghost. Let it be sealed in the very conscience of those who believed and confessed and repented and called on you today in Jesus' name. I thank you, God. Not maybe, not might, maybe a few more times. No, today they have been born again. Today they've been washed in the blood. Today they've been forgiven of all their sins, and including those that watch and have prayed. And if you have watched and prayed with us, Please let us know about it. Hallelujah. Makes no difference. We'll meet you when we get to heaven anyhow. Hallelujah. Uh, you, you guess we'll get to meet everybody? Yeah, we're going to be there forever. So it ain't like we're going to be in a hurry or nothing. Right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. We'll sit and talk about it in a thousand years. Amen. And a thousand years will be like a day. Because that's how it is with God. <laughs> Amen, even at the present day. Amen, praise God. You realize in eternity, a thousand years is going to be like one day to us. Because we're going to be like him. So everything, that we, we're eternal at that moment. A thousand years go by and it just be like a day. Hallelujah, praise God. That don't mean we become little lower gods, little less gods, little gods. No, 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 that's a false doctrine. I'm just telling you, we're going to see him as he is. We're going to be like him. Come on, somebody. We're going to be eternal beings. That's why we're never going to hurt, never going to have pains, never going to need a doctor, no, we'll never need a mortician, there will never be a funeral. Amen. Won't nobody be conducting funerals in heaven? Even if they tried, it wouldn't work. <laughs> Hating up but eternal life everywhere. Praise God, because he is that life. Praise the Lord. So God bless you, and we won't keep you here for eternity. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. It's almost 1 p.m., and you can, uh, uh, you can leave whenever you get ready. Don't forget about